question now. And a Denver judge just declared a mistrial. Joining me now to clear things up, pot pastor himself from the International Church of Cannabis, Steve Burke. All right, Steve, you look like a deity with the church in the background. <laughs> this is our church. I'm sitting in the chapel. Are you high right now? I'm, I'm not right now, but I plan to be later. <laughs> I don't even believe that. <laughs> so fill me in on the legal battle. You have a pot church. You believe in cannabis as a god and the Denver police are cracking down. So first thing I need to correct you on is we don't believe that cannabis is God. We believe that cannabis is a sacrament that helps one elevate themselves to a better version of itself. That's why we call it elevationism. And we don't, cre we don't claim that we created this new religion. But people have been using cannabis as a, a spiritual sacrament dating back to ancient China several thousand years ago. So cannabis for spiritual and religious purposes is actually older than the United States of America. So are you a Rastafarian? Is that accurate? I'm I'm an elevationist, and, and what, the reason why we're sitting here talking today is because the city of Denver uh, had two undercover cops infiltrate a private spiritual celebration on 420 of last year. We had about 300 invited guests, and two out of 11 attempted undercover cops, two were able to sneak or lie or manipulate their way in. And the city of Denver is now claiming that because these two cops out of 300 invited guests were able to get into a private ceremony, yeah. uh, it was to the public and anybody could have you, just walked in. You guys were so baked, you didn't even see the cops slip in there. You know, we, we, we were having our celebration. We had security at the front. A couple of the, these are trained operatives. Yeah. And they were to finagle their way in. I ask you the question, Jesse, if you have a private wedding and you have 300 guests and two people sneak into your wedding, does that make the wedding open to the public? Or does that make those two people wedding crashers? Yeah, no, they're cannabis crashers. <laughs> So they declared this mistrial, and now you're in legal limbo. Are you still having elevationist ceremonies at the church? Yeah, we have nothing to hide here. We, we celebrate every single Friday evening. We have our church services just like any other church. We have a different guest speaker and a different band. That plays Can I just week. interrupt for a second? What is a cannabis church service look like? So in, at our church, we have a different speaker and a different musical guest every week. We've had anywhere from tech CEOs to scientists, researchers, music professors. Who's the musical guest, Snoop? Uh, well, I, Snoop is more than welcome to come here if you'd like to be a, a musical guest at our church, and we would welcome him, of course. But, you know, this is no laughing matter, Jesse. The city of Denver Sorry. is selectively prosecuting us and not any of their own properties where they allow people to smoke open and publicly like Red Rocks Amphitheater, like Capitol Hill on 420 every year. It seems that they have a problem with our religion, and that's a problem for the city of Denver because we may end up going after them for civil law, in, in a civil lawsuit. All right. Well, well we're going to be following the story, and um, good luck with everything out there in your legal battle. And um, enjoy the rest of the weekend, Steve. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, Jesse. Up next, Roseanne Barr. Is